How do I replace the battery of a PASCO wireless sensor that uses coin cell batteries, such as the wireless temperature and wireless pH sensors? Well, these sensors thankfully won't have to have their batteries replaced very often, as they're expected to last about a year with typical classroom use between changes of the battery. But when you need to change the battery, it's fairly straightforward. I'm going to show you some tips, though, for preserving the water tightness of the battery compartment seal, though. So, if you look at the back of either of these sensors, you'll notice a round battery compartment door. There's an arrow that's pointing to one of two dots. I've marked my dots red and green so you can see them a little more clearly. Currently, the arrow is pointing to the dot on the right, the green dot in this case, and that shows that the battery compartment is closed and sealed. So I'll take a coin like this US nickel, and I'll simply rotate that battery cover until the arrow lines up with the other dot. And now I can simply take this battery cover off. So there is the coin cell battery. This is a fairly common coin cell battery. CR2032 is the model. You can get this from Pasco and from many uh, retailers around the world. So I'm going to remove the old battery and dispose of it properly. And I'll take my new battery and I need to identify the positive side. The positive side is a little bit thicker and you'll see a positive symbol plus sign on that. So I need to take the positive side and put it against the battery door. It clips in using these three clips, so it's now firmly in there. And it may be hard to see, but very importantly, there is a clear gasket or O-ring around the three catches for this battery. Before I replace the compartment door, I want to make sure that those are uh, that the O-ring is centered around those three. And then I'll flip it over, keeping the O-ring in place with my hand, and I'll realign the battery compartment door with the red dot in this case. Now I want to make sure that as I look around the o-ring is not sticking out so I'll push it in there with my finger and at this point I will take my coin and tighten the battery door again. Now it does take a little bit of force and that's because you're simply compressing the o-ring to ensure the water tightness of the sensor. So that's how you change the battery of our wireless sensors that take coin cell batteries. Thanks.